Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but this is something that you guys actually requested on Instagram. Um, I asked you if you wanted to perhaps see how I organize my life and the majority vote said absolutely you would watch this type of video. So I'm doing it for you now. If you're not following me on social media, I will have my handles come up somewhere on the screen now and um, be sure to follow me. So today I'm sharing with you three different tools that I use to organize my life. And what I mean by organizing my life is simply remembering um, important appointments, deadlines, um, events going on, as well as making sure that I get done all the things that I need to do. Now, this doesn't really encompass how I plan and organize my YouTube channel, and it also doesn't really encompass my work life because I do have more of a nine to five, Monday through Friday work job, and so I'm able to kind of leave my work at work. And then I'm also like a big picture person. I like to plan for the future and like big future events, um, you know, big desires that my husband and I have, like getting out of debt, possibly adopting one day. Um, so this video doesn't really encompass any of those types of things. This is just how I plan my daily tasks. This is how I remember important events and due dates and deadlines. And I have found that it really, really, really helps me stay on my game, not let anything fall through the cracks. So without further ado, let's get into the first tool that I use to organize my life. So the first thing that I use, and I'm sure most of you already use this as well, is just a simple digital calendar. I personally use iCal, um, but I have also interacted with Google Calendar, and I really actually like Google Calendar as well. So any digital calendar is a great calendar to use. So some features of digital calendaring that I use that I find is very helpful for me is um, first I share my calendar. So for a while um, my husband and I kept separate calendars and um, you know there was a lot of miscommunications about when events were at, what day they would be, what time. Sometimes there were things happening for his work schedule that I had no idea about but it was you know impacting our family life. Um, so different things like that. One day I sat down and I just shared all the calendars with him. And since then it has made communication about different events and things going on in our lives so much more simpler because we know that if it's gonna impact each other's lives, it has to go in this calendar. And that way the other person knows about it. The other feature that I have set up on the iCal is that whenever my husband adds an event, um, I get a little notification. I've also set it up so I get an email um, so I'm double reminded of any important events going on for his work life or you know just events going on in general and vice versa he does get notified whenever I input a specific event into the calendar. I suppose this would also be very helpful if perhaps you have an assistant or you're working with somebody on a project and you want to share a specific calendar that is specifically designated for that particular project. Um, there's lots of like versatility when it comes to things like that. Aside from sharing the calendar, I have also, and this might be like a step too far for some of you guys, maybe it's like too type A, but I've also given everybody in our home designated calendars. So Josiah has his own calendar, I have my own calendar, and our daughter Avelina has her own calendar. And then I also have an events calendar, which is kind of more family-oriented events that we're all attending together. And then because my husband and I have been so terrible at remembering to like pay things on time. We have a finance calendar as well. When everything and everyone has their own designated calendar, it's really, really helpful because if I just wanted to look at the finance calendar, I can, I can specifically pull that one up and I can see the finance calendar at a glance and I immediately can see all the different important dates that specifically pertain to our finances. The other thing I love to do, and this is just like, fun for me, which I don't know why it is, but it is. I have our calendars also color coordinated. So my husband, I think is blue. Adeline is like a purplish pink. I forget what color I am, but I have a specific color. I think events are orange and I really quite enjoy having designated colors for people. So anyways, that's really how we 
kind of manage our family's calendar. Ultimately, I just love the convenience of digital calendaring um, and it's been really, really great for me. So the second tool I love to use is the Google Keep app. I know this is funny, I'm like bouncing between Apple and Google products, but I actually feel like I like them both. Google Keep is really the space where I house all of my lists. So I am a list maker through and through and I think it's just because I always have a lot of different ideas running through my brain and um, I don't necessarily always have the time to pull out a pen and paper and write it down, especially if I'm on the go or if it's like right before bedtime. It's just easier and more convenient for me to take out my phone and create a list or add to a list that I've already created. Some of the lists I keep in my Google Keep are things like a wish list. These are items that I want to purchase or perhaps ask for for a birthday or Christmas. I also have a to-do list. I keep this at the very top of my Google Calendar and this is just, you know, if I'm out and about and I realize, oh my gosh, I need to return this item or I need to call this person back or, oh, I forgot I need to schedule this appointment and I will just easily type it in there and as long as I have it written out somewhere, that really helps my brain from getting overwhelmed by all the things I need to do. So. I don't know what it is about physically writing or typing out something, but it just really helps me, I guess, manage um, everything that's going on. I also have a list of books that I want to read for this year, a list of my home decor update ideas. I actually just did an apartment tour video for you guys and I kind of walk you through my decor taste and things that I did to change up our space. So if you're interested in that, I will have it linked up in the cards onward. Anyways, I keep a list of all of the things that I want to change in our apartment. So I love using Google Keep for all of my list making. And finally, I keep a written and physical calendar. This is kind of a fusion of everything that I have in my Google Keep. All of the different lists will eventually migrate themselves over into my written calendar. And the same thing goes for my iCalendar. Um, any important events or appointments I also add into my written calendar. So basically how I manage my written calendar is pretty much every evening I have like a 10 minute check-in and I just sit down and plan the next day. And I do add in different tasks and items that aren't in my list and are not in my calendar as well. So for instance, Monday is my bathroom cleaning day. So I'll make sure to just add that into my written calendar. I also like to add in things like our meal plan for the week, what we're going to be having every single night for dinner into my written calendar. The other thing I love about written calendars is that it's actually a fun place for me to kind of I guess scrapbook and add in stickers and make it a bit more colorful and fun and I really enjoy that. I think more than anything that's just like a fun little hobby for me. So it's not only a very robust um, and really helps me plan out my day type calendar and it helps me stay on task but it's also just like a fun thing for me to do. So anyways, those are the three things that I do to organize my life. If you like this type of content where I talk about organization, things of that nature, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you guys want me to do a series for you talking about how I organize my life. I'm definitely a planner at heart so, and there's like a lot of different ways that I plan. So I would love to share that with you if you guys are interested. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next week. Bye.